People are delicate creatures. We need a lot of water, and we need the temperature to be just so. So, a desert is the last place you'd want to be stranded. People have come to enjoy the comforts of life, and the only place anyone wants to be stranded is in the champagne bar at a spa. Desert temperatures can be deadly, with days reaching highs of 49 degrees and nights dropping to as cold as minus 18. Surviving can depend on whether you have access to water or how long you can last without it. So, how do you make it out alive? Here's how to survive being stranded in the desert, according to science. First off, wear a hat. It's crucial to limit your sun exposure during the day and to keep warm at night. If you can, stay out of the sun, that's best. If you can't, a hat can help you to conserve water by cooling you down so you don't sweat as much. It also protects your skin from the brutal rays of the sun. Second, ration your water. If you're lucky enough to be carrying any water, it can be tempting to drink everything you have at the first sign of thirst, but that's a dangerous way to handle the desert. Assess your hydration health by the color of your pee. If it's dark, have some small sips of water, you're getting dehydrated. If it's light colored, wait before drinking. Your hydration levels are good enough. Conserving water is a top priority in the desert heat. If you don't have water, you can try to find it by following animals. That will eventually lead you to a water source. Look for dry streams or riverbeds. Sometimes you can find water just under the surface. The best place to look will be at a bend in the river on the outside edge. Now, beware of water you find pooled in the desert. It could be contaminated and you don't want to get dehydrated from vomiting or diarrhea. Don't drink it until you've smelled it and given it a small taste. If you find cactus fruit, eat a bit of it as it's full of water, but not too much as it'll make you sick to your stomach. In the mornings, look for dew and drink it. Third, chill out, relax, don't panic. The worst thing you can do in this situation is to run around wildly instead of carefully considering your priorities and course of action. You need to conserve your energy and it's best to wait for rescue by staying close to where you were originally stranded. Unless you know where you are and can start heading in the right direction for clean water and rescue, it's best to stay put and wait for someone to find you. If you do decide to set out, it's best to rest in the hot daytime and walk during the cold night. Fourth, make an easy shelter to conserve your energy and protect you from extreme temperatures. If you have a poncho or a parachute, use it to cover up depressions between dunes or rocks to make your shelter. Signal for help by building a fire at night. Fifth, don't eat. If you have food with you, you can nibble on some to keep your energy up, but do not wolf it down. If you do that, you'll be very thirsty. Since people can survive much longer without food than without water, it's best to limit your food intake for as long as you can. If you need to look for food, the best thing to eat is cacti, as they're all safe to eat, unlike lizards and insects, which can be poisonous. Sixth, shut your mouth. You can slow dehydration by keeping your mouth closed so that moisture doesn't escape. If you have a bandana or a piece of clothing, cover your mouth with it to slow your moisture loss. And finally, don't strip. As tempting as it may be to shed your clothes in the desert heat, it's much better for you if you protect your skin from extreme sunburns and keep dehydration at bay. And that's how to survive being stranded in a desert according to science.